Hey everyone, um, I am here with Shara, who I'm trying to help keep in her apartment today. Um, she has all her stuff packed up because she had eviction court on January 25th, but will you tell people how did this happen? What happened that led to you getting the eviction notice? That I was in the hospital for a week. And I couldn't work even after I got out of the hospital. I wasn't able to work. And so you only owe January rent, is that right? Yes. And then, and of course, you just went back to week or back to work uh, this past Thursday. Yes. And like you just did a twelve-hour shift that you just got home from at what, like six this morning? Yes. What do you do for work? I'm a security guard. Okay, and so. Um, Jeff, your neighbor has told us that the manager said if you can pay today, they will let you stay because you've lived here six years. Yes. And haven't ever been threatened with eviction in that six years. No. So um, in this whole process, have you been just kind of going in circles, it yeah. sounds like? And I went, even went to the office to see if they would work with me and they wouldn't even work with me. And then, of course, you filed the rent, the emergency rental assistance application with Wildfire on January 7th, Jeff said. Yes. And now I just found out today that they're not even doing that process. And so I'm not sure if this falls on then the city of Phoenix, but we're talking about owing, um, it looks like with January rent and then February rent because you're not going to get a check, I'm guessing, for, what, a couple of weeks probably? Yes. So January rent, February rent, court fees and late fees, probably just under the $3,000 mark. Have you ever been homeless before? Yes. You have? Twice before, yes. And what led to that? Um, my son's father, he was abusive with me. Mm -hmm. So my oldest son, he was two, we left him. And another time I was in a bad situation with another man to where we had to vacate a, an apartment. For domestic violence issues? Yes. Yeah, which is also a really common mm -hmm. uh, way that people end up homeless. And mm -hmm. we've talked about that before, too. So I'm going to do everything I can to keep you from having to... I don't even know how you would carry all this stuff. You have a car? No. Yeah. No, I travel is with the bus and the light rail. Okay. Well, I'm going to do mm -hmm. everything I can to help you, Shara. Okay. So fingers crossed. Thank you.